Today, I'm in the Outer Banks in North Carolina. I'm at Pea Island, one of my favorite national parks to bird in. It is the winter time. The birds have migrated here in, for the winter. So this is an exciting time to be here. And today I'm gonna to take you along my adventure of photographing birds in the Outer Bank. Today, I am on the Outer Banks in North Carolina. The Outer Banks is a chain of islands that, are, that go off into the ocean and come down around back to South Carolina. In the winter time, waterfowl, uh, swans, all these wading birds go from the Arctic down to uh, North Carolina and they spend the winter here. And today, I'm gonna to be here at Pea Island in this blind photographing birds that have migrated to North Carolina in the wintertime. first bird I photographed are tundra swans. These are swans that again breed in the Arctic and come down here in the winter time. They're a beautiful white bird. They are prolific here all over the Outer Banks and they're just a beautiful bird to take pictures of. Um, you have to be patient because it seems like they spend almost all their time with their heads tucked under their wings but I just love taking their pictures. I just photographed some white pelicans. Um, white pelicans are these giant birds. I think pelicans are second or third largest wingspan in uh, the bird world. They are an incredible bird to take pictures of. They breed in the Great Lakes, and that's some place I want to go really and photograph them sometimes is in the Great Lakes. But in the wintertime, they come here to North Carolina. They're not as prolific here in North Carolina as they are further south, but it's just great to get photographs of them. And it's great to see them. Green winged teals, uh, another bird that I really enjoy taking pictures of. I think that um, they're one of those species that, um, I ju they just look beautiful. They're an incredibly attractive bird. Um, again, another winter visitor to North Carolina and it's just incredible when I can get to them. They seem to be another bird that's um, hunted and is very skittish of human beings, but it is just incredible to get near them. And, it's, and with this blind here, you can get incredibly close to them as long as you're not talking to a camera, but it is fun to be out here. I just had a mat of birds just come by me here and there were green winged teal in it, there were redheads and there were coots in it and some scoters. I think they were lesser scoters, don't hold me to that, I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, but the great thing about this blind is that I can sit in this blind and wait for the birds just to move by me. Now one of the drawbacks to this blind is that I'm in the most northern window here so the blind kind of cuts around here like this and there are windows facing south and windows facing north here. Um, and the problem is that I cannot photograph out the southern windows because that's where the sun is this time of year. So I'm very fortunate that there's nobody else here because I'd have to share this window with somebody else. But um, it's just, you see the birds coming along here, you're just waiting for them to come by. 
but it's great to see these birds. I'm going to show you those pictures right now. bunch of avocets that are sitting out here in the water. Uh, one thing I kind of, uh, avocets are tough is they seem to spend a huge amount of time just sitting with their head tucked underneath their um, um, wings, but they got this beautiful long bill that they use to probe into the sand to eat hermit crabs. Um, it's just incredible to get the picture there. Right there, there's some cormorans back there, some um, uh, tundra swans, Canada geese, com cormorants. It's just an incredible, today's just been an incredible day to be out here. Well, it's getting late in the day. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, it is the winter time. I mean, realistically, I came out here about seven o'clock in the morning. I should have probably got out here about 6.30. Um, it's, the sun is getting really harsh right now. I mean, if I look south, the only thing I can see is the haze. I couldn't even tell you what birds were that way. Um, I still could probably photograph going north, but it's getting hard with the shadows that the birds create. Um, but I've had an incredible time this morning. The birds have been very cooperative. Um, right now, the birds are kind of flying away from the blind and they're going out foraging for food. So I'm not seeing a lot more animals here, but um, it's just been incredible here. Um, so if you've ever had an opportunity to come to the Outer Banks in the wintertime, Come to Pea Island, it's free. Um, if you go to the Welcome Center, they will help you find these birds. So, I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode at all, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps us in the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leahy and I wanna thank you for watching.